एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम वी आर डूइंग द टॉपिक कारपेंट्री टूल्स दिस टॉपिक इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द कोर्स मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रैक्टिसेस सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द टॉपिक Welcome to S Chand Academy. I am Anmol Bhatia. For detailed conceptual clarity, you can refer to the book by S Chand Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. This is the second part of the video, and in the first part of the video, we have already covered some of the carpentry tools. Now, in this part of the video, we'll be covering the remaining carpentry tools that are used for the carpentry operations. In the first part of the video, we have covered these tools which are marking tools in the first part of the video we have covered these tools which are marking tool the measuring tool the holding tool and the cutting tool in this part of the video we will cover the planing tool the boring tool the striking tools and some miscellaneous tools so coming to the planing tool planing tool is a kind of a cutting tool which is used to shave or smoothen the plane surfaces so if we want to shave or smoothen the plane surface of the wood we may use this planing tool and here we have these categories which are the wooden jack plane the metal jack plane the trying plane or the smoothing plane here we would be covering the wooden jack plane and the metal jack plane in detail so what is a wooden jack plane so here in the wooden jack plane you have a bottom face of the stock and that bottom face of the stock is called as a sole and the handle is glued into the slot and a hole uh, which is formed for the double iron wedge so here on the board you can see that it has a handle and that handle is glued with the help of this throat that contains a blade which is used to strike or shave the surface of the wood here you have the nose which is the starting part of the uh, the instrument and you have a sole of the same the material of this instrument is wood but if the material of the instrument is metal then you name that surface or name that instrument is as a metal jack plane so this instrument is somewhat similar to the wooden jack plane but here the material is the cast iron or the gun metal or a malleable iron it is provided with a wooden handle and that handle consists of a wooden knob in the front for holding by the both the hands so here you can see the diagram of the metal jack plane here you have a handle and the knob so with the help of the handle and the knob we can uh, hold the instrument with the help of both the hands the body is there and there is an adjusting screw in the uh, bottom part it has a blade which is used to shave uh, the surface of the wood so let me just show you this iron jack plane or the metal jack plane now so this instrument is called as a metal jack plane here as i was uh, Uh, informing that uh, this is placed in between the two hands one part is uh, uh, of the hand uh, one hand is used to uh, generally uh, pick the handle and the other part is used to hold the knob and uh, the carpenter will create a forward motion on the surface of the wood so that this bottom blade uh, which is there when when coming in contact with the wooden surface shapes the surface of the wood so this is called as the metal jack plane then you have the boring tool category of the carpentry tools in the boring tool category uh, you have the tools which are used to make holes in the wood and the common tools which are named as the boring tools are brandol gimlet brace and bits and they work together with each other let's say if we have brandol and gimlet so brandol and gimlet are basically the tools which are used to make the small holes 
on the surface and they are hand operated. So as you can see that you have a tool which is used to make a hole on the surface of the wood. And then you have a brace and the bit. A brace holds and turns the bit and generally it bores a hole on the surface. So with the help of these tools you can uh, create a hole on the surface of the wood. Then the other category of the tool is a striking tool. So striking tool as the name suggests it is used to strike on the surface so as to uh, remove extra material from the surface. So the striking tool is majorly used with other cutting tools so as to uh, have a surface which is a planar surface and uh, let's say for an example we have a chisel and it is a firmer chisel and the chisel is used with the help of the mallet to strike off the wooden surface from the wood. The striking tools generally include a hammer and a mallet. So just for a case of an example, I'll be telling you the detail of the hammer. In the category of hammer, you have a claw hammer and this claw hammer is made up of cast steel and it has a head at one end and the claw at the other hand. As you can see the diagram, in the diagram, it has a handle which is majorly made up of wood and uh, on this handle you have the head part and the claw part. So the head part is used to drive the nails and the claw part is used to pull out the nails from the wood. So as you can see the head part is there when it strikes on the surface of the nail it creates uh, or it drives in the nail on the surface of wood and this claw is used to remove or expel the nail which is there in the wood. Let me just show you this claw hammer with the help of the tool. So you can see that this tool is called as a claw hammer. On one part you have a head which is used to, which is used to uh, drive in the nails on the surface of the wood and the other part is the claw part which is used to expel the nails from the surface of the wood. Now the other category that is there as a part of striking tool is a mallet. So mallet is basically made up of a hard wood that can be a round shape or that can be a rectangular uh, in shape and that is used to strike the cutting tool uh, which have the wooden handle such as chisel. So for an example I have a chisel and I want to strike uh, on the surface of chisel so that the shaving of the wood takes place. So I will do it with the help of a mallet. Let me just show you a mallet uh, which is this uh, tool and as I have told you uh, that it has a round shaped or a rectangular shape. So this mallet is a round shaped mallet which is used to strike on the surface of the chisel. So let's say I have a chisel and I want to remove the material from the surface of wood. So both the tools would go together like I will place this uh, cutting edge on the surface of wood and I will strike on the surface of this handle so that the cutting action would take place. So both the tools would go together. So this one is a chisel, this one is a mallet. And the last category that we will be studying here is the miscellaneous tools category. So in the miscellaneous tools you have other tool items which are there in the carpenter's toolbox and those items are screwdriver, a pincer, a rasp and a file, scrapper, glass paper and an oil stone. So let us understand about the screwdriver. So coming to screwdriver, screwdriver is an instrument or the tool which is used to drive in the screws inside the wooden surface or unscrewing them uh, from the wooden surface. So the diagram that you can see on the board is of a screwdriver that has a flat tip and this tip is used to drive in the screws inside the wood so that um, this joining operation would take place. Let me just show you one uh, screwdriver. So this is a screwdriver which has a flat surface and this uh, flat surface is connected with the help of a screw which is used to drive in on the surface of the wood. So this has a handle and the carpenter would generally rotate this while fixing this on the screw 
and then uh, the screw gets inside the wood or it can be used to remove or expel the screw from the wooden surface. Then you have the category which is pincer. So pincer is a kind of tool which is used to pull out the nails from the surface of the wood. So as you can see on the diagram, this is the diagram of a pincer and it has the claws and while uh, picking the nut or picking the screw uh, in between the two jaws and while pulling it with the help of the force, the screw can be removed from the surface. Let me just show you the tool which is pincer. So this tool that you can see on the board is physically called as a pincer. It has two claws. So when the carpenter uh, moves these two claws together and in between the two claws, uh, when we put in the head of the screw and when it ex it is being expelled. So this particular tool is used to expel the screw from the surface of the wood. Then you have the third category, which is a rasp or a file. See, there is a difference between a rasp and a file. A rasp is basically a file which is used for finishing and it has a sharp cutting teeth on the surface. While a file is used to remove the rasp mask on the wooden surface. If you observe these two closely, so rasp has certain um, cutting teeth which are sharp and they are placed on the surface which is used to remove the uh, wooden surface. Uh, in a random manner and then this rasp will create certain marks on the surface of wood. In order to remove the marks of the wood, a file is used for finishing. Let me just explain you the basic difference between a rasp and a file. So this tool is called as a rasp in which you can see that there are marks on the surface uh, which is being depicted with the help of the diagram. So it has marks on the surface and when I strike uh, the wood with the help of this, it would create certain marks on the surface of the wood. Majorly it is used for the uh, shaping operation. Then uh, if we want to remove the rasp masks, so for that we have a finishing tool which is called as a file. So a file which has a uniform distribution of the teeth. This uniform distribution of the teeth is used to um, create a good surface finish on the wooden block. So this tool, the file is used to create a good surface finish on the surface of the wooden block. So we covered the rasp and we covered the file. That is the miscellaneous kind of a tool. Then coming to a scrapper. A scrapper is a thin piece of steel that is hardened and tempered. And that is used to remove the torn grains or the plain marks left afterwards the hand woods have been planed. So whenever we have a planed wood and we want to remove the marks on the surface of the wood, we have a scrapper for it. Then we have a glass paper. A glass paper is a kind of paper sheet which has small particles of glass inside it. And those glass particles are stuck inside this. And it has a sharp edges and which would use to cut the wooden particles. Then we have the category which is the oil stone. Oil stone falls under the category of this miscellaneous tool. Uh, oil stone is a kind of artificial or the natural stone and it is used for providing the keen edges on the cutting tool. And if we want to sharpen the edges of the cutting tool, we have this oil stone and on the surface of oil stone, if we place the cutting tool uh, and sharpen the edges, so this tool would be satisfactorily perform that particular operation of sharpening that cutting tool. So, so far what we have covered in this video, we started this video with planing tool and in the planing tool we have seen the wooden jack plane, the metal jack plane. In the boring tool we have seen gimlet or brandol. In the striking tools we have the mallet uh, category and lastly we have the miscellaneous tools in which we have seen the screwdriver a case of rasp and a file so with this we come to the end of the second part of the video in which we learnt some specific categories of carpentry tools namely the planing tool the striking tools and some miscellaneous tools for detailed conceptual clarity you can refer to the book by s chan publishing 
The link of the book is there in the description box below. If you find the video interesting, like, share, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. Thank you. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.